Yeah, okay. All right. Just hang on for one second. Billy, I've got Jane from Publicity on the line. She just wants one word to describe manpower. Tell her. Energetic. <laughs> Personality. Entertaining. Acrobatic. Comedy. <laughs> cool. Bodies. <laughs> Tell her it's fun. We decided to shoot our manpower calendar in the outback this year because we wanted it to look very Australian. The area around Alice Springs looks amazing and we thought it would provide the perfect backdrop for our calendar. We had been hearing about Adam Watson for quite a while. He has a great reputation for photographing male and female bodies. And that's exactly what we needed for our shoot. Someone with experience in capturing the beauty Have of the male light. body. Eyes at me. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. All tight to your head. <laughs> Go at me. <laughs> he was fantastic. I've never met a photographer of so much patience and so motivating to the boys. It just made our job so much easier. Okay, guys, we're ready for action again. Uh, well, this is all the glamour and the lifestyle of Manpower Australia waking up at, what is it, Ben? Three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Driving three hours to out the back of I don't know where. <laughs> And trying to look good. Uh, it's just like an early morning bike ride. Yeah, simple as that. Slow riding your heart. We do it all the time. <laughs> Our first shoot was 280k southeast of Ayers Rock on a cattle ranch. Mike, our tour guide, was just fantastic. You know, he just knew Alice Springs and all Central Australia by the back of his hand. And I suppose without him, you know, we wouldn't have found all those, you know, fantastic locations. I just want to let you know that we have to get in that water. Him first. Me first. Actually, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do with my hair, I'll just sort of stick my whole head in the water. Mm. The Gay was really good because she she didn't sort of yeah, overdo us, you know, bleach. more or less the natural Australian <laughs> look, you know. The way she put us together was brilliant. He'll probably turn blue on me once we put him in the water. She's saying that make make feel nice. There you go. Mm. Why don't you just look up in the air? When Mike told us about this location, I thought of some great gorges and lakes and things like that. And obviously Chris, his location was, you know, that he wanted water as well. So we had to find an area that was, you know, to suit us. Oh. <laughs> you felt different being out there. It wasn't like sort of being in surface paradise or being in America. It just felt so different being out there. And you, you know, it was so quiet. Cool. Yeah, 
Mike went in there and he was saying, uh, there's nothing in there. He was laughing. I thought, oh, no, there's eels in that in there. So I was just, you know, treading with care. <laughs> but it was a bit scary. Yeah, please. I was staying there for about, I think it was about an hour, an hour and a half. And it just, you know, I was on a, a ledge too, like in the water, because it was so deep, we put a, a ledge in, you know what I mean? Not a ledge, like a log. And basically I was standing on that and I was, you know, balancing on that, trying to do this shot. And it was, it was uncomfortable, but you know, we finally got a good shot out of it. <laughs> Actually, let's push the sarong forward. So that bottom part's out of the way there. Okay, chin high for me. A lot better. Good. All right, very still. Very still. Hold it right there. Very piercing eyes straight at me. Really intense. Chin high for me. That's better. Chin high. That's better. That's better. Looking up to your to your left. Is it amongst that I'm going to find out soon, no doubt. Well, we were looking for something with a bit of greenery, water, um, and yet, like, really earthy colours. When we got there, exactly what it was, and it was like in a nice little, you know, tiny area, you know, that was just perfect. You know, um, Adam can sort of could fit, like, everything that I wanted in the shot. So, I, personally, I was really happy with it. No, it, it's, I like it only definitely. hangs over one side. Well, I wanted to be in in the water, like coming out of the water, sort of with like a wet look, basically. But I wanted like like to be holding something or whatever, like like a bit of a a strain on my face, yeah, more a real serious sort of you know power kind of look. Yeah. Well, I can just pull them down. Well, just go down in the water and pull your jocks down. Yeah, that's they're below water level now. Yeah. Cold. It was cold in that water, I'll tell you. Uh, and there was all these little bloody little fish or something biting me. I don't know what it was, but I was going to be worried about it. I was just hoping there wasn't any like leeches or something, but there, there was nothing sort of stuck to me. So it was alright. Great. Leave it there. Are you getting that? Yeah, I'm getting the red there, yeah. Getting the red? Yeah, drop your dax further. Other side. Alright. Leaning on top of the log more a little more quickly. The way you just moved your hips. Yeah. Move your hips a little more for me. This way? Yeah. I'm not really big as some of the other guys in the group. Um, so I rely more on definition, you know, like really low body fat and that to, to show up my body. Yeah, 
you know, it's like hold that, uh, yeah, turn here, hold this, and you, you get cramps in your back or this or that, just holding a position. And uh, and he's saying like, hold, 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 now smile, turn your head this way, keep holding it, flex those abs. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> but yeah, it's still worth it in the long run. I mean, uh, you can see the end result. <laughs> Right. Do it again. Very tight, these shoulders. And around. On tour, um, loading and unloading in the airports, I think, is probably, you know, the hardest thing. You just, you know, you're running, you're, you're frantic, you know, for some reason we're just ritual, you know, religiously late to the airports. <laughs> that's, that's when you're getting like eight or ten people to organise. See you later. This is it, we're off. See ya. Am I going to see you again or what? <laughs> see you later. Yeah, nice to meet you. Take care. Hi. We're on tour about probably more than 40 weeks a year now. And yeah, at one stage there, I could say, could say up to 40 weeks now, I'd have to say more than 40 weeks a year. So it's pretty busy. When I'm ready for a serious relationship is when I'm out of the, this business, you know, I mean, it, I want to offer someone my everything, not just a little bit of me. You can't expect someone to wait around for 40 weeks of the year for you to come home. Um, and it, plus, I mean, you don't want to be away overseas and it's hard enough missing home as it is, let alone missing someone really close to you and, and just wanting to be there and, and all that. It makes It definitely does make it easier to be where you are when you don't have that sort of a worry or, or that sort of a want. We're probably about we're probably about two minutes from the UNLV too. So we know running any, rebels. Anybody think you've been Where do you want to go and study? I was playing up there, Frank Sinatra at the desert in. Seeing those big billboards, that was good. Like oh, I sent a, a couple of photos um, standing underneath one to my mum. You know, like here I am, sixty foot high. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Right. Bye guys. Yeah. The audience whose reaction is uh, has a lot to do with my performance. I mean, like when the when the crowd's like really going off, I'm you know that gives me energy and more incentive to really you know, push more out on stage. Yeah, I mean, and then it responds. It, it's like a, a circle. You know, the more they respond, the more you respond, and and, and so on. So, you know, it, both of you get a lot out of it. It's late at night And people passing by Moving to the rhythm What are you guys doing tonight? Just driving around for a while? Are you tired? That was great. <laughs>
You're probably training around one to two hours a day, six days a week, so um, it's very hard. <laughs> Yeah, I really enjoy working out. I love it. It's it's become I've I've been training now for around eight years, and it's it's sort of like become a way of life. You know, I mean, I, I can see myself doing this. You know, when I'm 50 years old, you know, it's, it, it just makes you feel good about yourself. You know, you look half alright. <laughs> That's it. Here you go. Uh, okay, last one, last one. Push it out, push it out, push it out. They're very good trainers, yeah. Um, they get a bit slack sometimes, so you have to sort of like push them in the line and, you know, motivate them a little bit, but yeah, in general, they are good. How did I think to be a cowboy? I think it it just comes second nature. Like, I was, I was uh, brought up in the country and I lived there for 19 years. So um, I had that country background to me, and I, I feel comfortable doing it. Was one. <laughs> 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 it's a it's a really different location. It's it's great actually. So if you remember your posse there, Ronnie. It's supposed to be cloudy today. Really? Mm, yeah, it's supposed to be cloudy and a bit of rain. He really knows what to look for um, in a body. And you don't have to say anything. He, he knows what he's looking for. So automatically, you just do what he says and it, you know, turns out all right. It's as though he's just come out of the middle of nowhere and he's come into this new town and he's got his jacket in his hand and he's this fantastic looking guy that's just like come in to, you know, take over, find a place in a new residence and... Organised. The image that we were shooting for was a guy walking along a lonely dirt road in the outback. It's, you know, the sun's beating down, it's really hot. Um, no one around, hitchhiking, just trying to find a lift. Um, and it's very dusty. And like I said, lots of flies. Okay, let's 
sweaty look. <laughs> well, I, I just don't want it looking like you've just come out of a church meeting and yeah. your hair's prim and proper, you know? Yeah. You've got a great bod and you've got a good jawline. The last thing you want is to have the top looking like you just come out of a little, you know. Yeah. All right, let's have your legs further apart then. Okay, so that pose you're in now. And so I want you just to sort of, where you are, just standing, just, I just want you moving around a little bit, just, just moving your hips around back and forward. Your jaw's going to be still looking straight into the reflector. Your eyes are at me all the time. So you're going to be getting your hips moving a bit. So your abs are going to be doing a bit of work, you know what I mean? Mm. So keep your abs tight all the time. It's just rolling your hips around. Okay, a lot bigger through your shoulders for me. Eyes at me. Prior to the calendar kind of shoot, we... You know, watched our diet fairly strictly for around six weeks. But um, if you've got no abs, you know, you're considered not lean, more or less. But, um, you know, with a lot of sit-ups, you, you do a lot of sit-ups, crunches, um, twists every day. And uh, along with a good diet as well. I mean, you know, you've got to have the, the two together. You can't just have one. I mean, you're not going to have good abs if you haven't got a good diet and vice versa. So you've got to, you know, incorporate the two together to make it work. Yeah. Right. Over there, doing nothing. Let's have that coming across. Just onto your belt. Further across. Okay. Come that way, Ronnie. Okay. Proud of that. Good. I was really happy with the way the shoe went. In fact, the final result was pretty amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Straight up. So I love dancing. Like all the, all the guys in the show are dancers. But for me, I get more enjoyment out of it because I've been doing it for over 10, 12 years. And I love teaching too, so that'd be my best asset, I think. The costumes in the show are very much, they're, how can I explain them? They're like, they're like a cabaret type costume. They're big, they're, they're loud on stage, which is what people want to see. They pay money, I mean, the girls pay money not to just see a shirt and a pair of slacks or a t-shirt. They pay money to be entertained, and that includes, you know, costumes as well. That's it. 
each guy in the show is really critical about each other and I think that's what makes us all to be perfectionists. We all try to better our act and to better the show. Crossed over. Awesome crowd, eh? Really powerful audience. Love it. He's trying something different tonight, so instead of instead of instead of dancing at war, the first part is choreographed. What he's doing is he's stopped about the first eight counts and he's just using a bit more of his face. Just so he captures a bit more before he goes on, you know? What seems better? I've been on horses before, but it's the first time I've actually been on a camel. So hopefully I'll I'll get away without any injuries. <laughs> if not, I'll be off work for a couple of weeks. Spin <laughs> effects, He ain't listening. Someone else will do the Egyptian routine. Turn him that way. Where you going? Your back turn. Yeah. We want to get your dress and get makeup organised. It looks as though we've got a vast area of fans. So if I get on top of the four wheel drive. I don't know, it's the first time I've worked with him, so. Um, but by the sounds of him and by the way he talks, he seems very professional at what he does. He's a very spontaneous person. He does everything on the spot. It's not like he's everything scripted out for him. Whatever he sees, he'll put together, and that's 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 the beauty of it. So hopefully, you know, we'll get some awesome shots today. I want to make him dirty. I'm gonna make him dirty for the shoot, for right? You have to make it look like he's been riding a rugged camel. <laughs> I don't even know what I really like. Cross on the ear. Do we have to have that? Get rid of it? I wouldn't mind. Off comes the cross. Three years it's been on. I meet Adam, off comes the cross. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I might have to get Gilliam to do it. Hey, Billy, take the cross off for me, mate. I've just this it. year, I was after a more aggressive feel or more aggressive look with my calendar shot whereas last year was a pretty boy look under the waterfall. Um, I spoke to Adam about it and he thought a camel would be good. It's a strong animal and the, the type of shot that he had in mind you know, worked out really well. I'm ready. Follow me. Okay, a little taller in the saddle for me. Okay, I don't want you, you're giving me a little bit of a boy next door look. Don't want that. Okay. For me it was hard, it was, it was a scary experience to be up there and they're so high off the ground, you can't just jump off, you know, you've got to like, you've got to wait for them to kneel and then get off, so it was hard to control. First time that I've ever been there to do a photo shoot and it was beautiful. It's, it can be greeny, shady, watery one section, 
and you know you can walk 10 minutes away and it's so deserted dry hot in another section it's absolutely beautiful it's a place that you know, i'll never forget Start one morning, till eight o'clock that evening, then up at four again the next morning. It's all the fun. All part of the job, I suppose. I'm not into the mornings. Gay! Hi, Come on over, let's start getting organised. We didn't start out to be, oh, you know, sort there. of the glamour for calendar boys, you know what I mean? We did, we basically just wanted to have the, the good, tight, clean show there together, you know? So I think the calendar's just a bonus. We don't want to get uh, red dirt on the Calvins here, so... Crispy! <laughs> <laughs> How is it working? It's just fine. It's like working with any other boy. <laughs> About to take you on an adventure. I got my boots dusty. I got my chaps on. I forgot my jeans though. I wanted it sort of like a, a, a real, Actually, a sort of a jackaroo blue, feel about it, you know. Mirrors. And I wanted to sort of um, get a lot of red dirt and get sort of dusty and dirty and make it, you know, just give it. A more of a sort of a rugged feel with it, you know, rather than just the, the normal pretty boy stuff, you know. So that's the type of, that's the type. I want to get real, I want to make it look very Australian, you know, because I mean, that's what we're here for. Can we get it out so of that's the, the biggest thing. I'm gonna crack that whip. I got a great one down, Pat, but I, I can't get the, uh, the old jackaroo round one yet. <laughs> yeah, those little frayed ends seem to be. A this the trick. Those? The other one was just it was better cool. yesterday. Yeah. I think me and Frank busted it. Oh. <laughs> On our backs. <laughs> well, we won't Sounds go good, into doesn't that. it? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're practicing our whipping. <laughs> <laughs> One more back for me. I think to to make a good manpower guy, you've really got to. You've really got to be able to be in touch with the people, with your audiences, with, with everybody you're associated with work-wise and, and, and out of work, because people are always looking at you, thinking, oh, this guy's got to have an attitude, you know what I mean? And so, you know, you've just got to basically show them that you're just like everybody else. More to your right, more to your right, more to your right. Can you grab the saddle for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> You can't capture the, the colours of the dirt or the, or the scenery or anything that's around you on film quite quite as good as, as when you're there, you know? You, you, you kind of, you're forever 
Ah, oh, you know, you got to step back and take a look at where you're at. That rock over there is awesome. Why well, it's so red? nowhere you know and you're thinking to yourself who the hell would be watching me out here so you're not, you're not worried about anything and then suddenly there's like 20 camels with, with American tourists on the back of them being let out for three days you know I thought oh god but it was it was funny it was it was good the way they came along and you know sort of got into it and wanted to take photos and that it was funny. Hi oh. you guys are shooting for a publication do you okay. expect, to, do you expect to distribute in the United States? Well, I hope it's going to be, yeah. They, they, they do shows, they're going to be doing shows throughout America, so uh, I can guarantee they'll be having the calendars yeah. going around with them on sale. Well, the Americans love the Australians, and I'm sure they'd love them even more when they're topless and so forth and well muscled. <laughs> well, let's hope. Do you like what you're seeing at the moment? Oh, yes, especially uh, Kim, the young girl, was enjoying it. Oh, man, how come I can't do this? I need, help. Over your I need help, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are more into camels at this stage of our lives. <laughs> but those with youth are admiring the scenery on this side. Oh, boy. Do you want me to smile or...? Now you look pretty good just like that. <laughs> ah, Which month are you going to be? Well, last year I was January, so maybe unless I get demoted. <laughs> hopefully I'll be January again. Do June. That's my birthday month. That's my birthday too. Cool. Gemini? Gemini's. All right. There's four people between the two of us. <laughs> Thanks, what, guys. What, what day are you? The 15th. I'm the third. Wow. Still dominates. You have a great holiday. Thank you. It was, it was very important that, that my parents um, were proud of what I did. This has been such a family, mate. It's starting to get the farmer look alike. <laughs> I think it's, um, it's gotten to the standard now where, where they are very proud and that makes me feel good because what my parents think is very important to me. Me, Chin Higher, 
The idea behind my okay. calendar shoot was okay. basically Shopping being marooned in the desert. Knees, water bottles going straight up, emptying the water out, guys. Head right back more, I'll tighten it for your abs. Love this. Adam Watson's excellent to work with, he's got some really good ideas. Like stuff that I, we never even thought of doing. He's um, just pulled out these ideas and they're fantastic, you know. Really good, completely different to what the other guys have done and yet, you know, so in touch with what everyone else is doing, so it's really good. The location I, I worked at was called Rainbow Valley, which was, was like a big canyon. It had the mud flats everywhere, which was really red. In the background, you had some, uh, some mountains and um, it was very, a very pretty location, but at the same time, a very harsh location. This is my favorite part. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, you fly crazy. Sure, right in the middle of that. Yeah. <laughs> Too many flies out here. Oh, I love this red dirt on my butt. After I poured all the water out of me, uh, Adam decided it was time for a bit more sensuality in the shot, and it was time for uh, myself to take all my clothes off. Um, and then I had to lay out there, I had to get the uh, makeup lady to cover me with oil. And um, then basically lay down on top of the mud flats okay, naked. Yeah, bring your chin up slowly. Ice me now. Great. Not softer. That's great. Okay, let's have, uh, let's have your face a lot more relaxed for me. Oh, face it was a lot more relaxed. definitely an experience. There was just mud all over me, dirt, slimy. and okay. But it was fun. It was, you know, we ended up getting the shot. We had a good time. We laughed. We had a, we had a really good time. Okay. Hold it there. Eyes at me. Very soft, really soft, sexy eyes straight toward me. Go. Well done. Oh, okay, what do you want me? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to get me running down there or something? Please? <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah, that works yeah. well. You gotta come now back. Now you gotta get back. Fun times, we have our mucking around times, and we have our serious times. We don't have arguments, we have arguments like in, you know, like a family, I guess. I think it's important to have that sort of brotherhood, you know, that, that tight friendship. Yeah, they love their job and that's, that's one of the biggest credentials. Go watch these guys for three days, shoot them. And it makes you want to work out. Serious complex here about the skinny legs and the flat stomach and flat chest. But I've had them off. I'll just buy the calendar and look at them and say, one day I can be like that. I was thinking, I was thinking of a time that long ago when my mind was in motion and my thoughts were up. I began to travel far, far and away But my body without me It just wanted to stay And off I went on a journey I know To a place in my past Where my present could go Then time
I was um, practicing some flips around uh, Adam so we can get some action shots and somebody screamed out stop, I can't remember who and I stopped and I landed on my bum. <laughs> I think it was me that said stop. I didn't mean to hurt me. That's what you get for being a gymnast. Injuries. The reason why we did this shot like this. For the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get serious, man. Where are we going to go? Headshots. I don't even have a shave in peace. I've been sunbaking for about a week straight. Have you? Yeah. You have not. I know. Yeah. <laughs>